you're gonna wanna get yourself a big old bag. Hey, Lee here helping you become a better plant parent. I'm gonna show you the most efficient and effective way that you can stabilize, acclimatize, and propagate large import plants when you get them into your home. The key is to get yourself the largest resealable plastic bag that you can. In my experience, even getting extra large Ziploc bags still does not satisfy most of the use cases. What you need is a large vacuum seal bag. The one that I use is 32 inches by 21 inches. You'll want to set up your bag wherever your permanent propagation spot is going to be and make sure that it's somewhere where it can get adequate lighting. And think about how many plants you're actually propagating. I'm adding three plants, so I'm going to need three terracotta planters. In order to increase the humidity inside the bag, I also add sphagnum moss to the bottom of the bag. You can add as much or as little as you want so you can maintain a desired amount of humidity inside this space. Your import plant should be rooting inside clear plastic cups with whatever is your preferred propagation method, whether that's sphagnum moss or perlite, or even a mix of both. Taller and thinner cups are usually better. Add in the plants and partially seal the bag. I keep this bag partially sealed to help prevent mold and bacteria from growing inside of it. With it partially sealed, the plants now have the benefit of high humidity with allowing more airflow inside the bag. Keep a close eye on the condensation inside the bag. If it becomes too much, I would open it up some more to let it air out further. If your leaves are touching the sides of the bag as condensation builds up too much, this could lead to an increased chance of mold growth which will damage your leaves and eventually end up harming your plant. This method is an amazing alternative to a propagation box, especially if you're working with medium to large size plants. The particular bag I showed was the large size and that's what I would recommend as it only takes up about 30 to 32 inches in height once your plants are inside. And if you do need to step up, you can opt for the extra large size which is 43 inches tall and 30 inches wide. You can find affiliate links to the products I recommend down below. And if you're interested in learning more about how to propagate plants from stem cuttings, you can check out this video here. Like the video if it was helpful and consider subscribing. See you next time.